Hi guys, it's Andy Robinson and cheers for checking out the channel again. And for today, I'm going to be showing you this Swift RC restoration of a classic 1984 Tamiya Hornet. So we're going to take a closer look at it in a minute. But I'll just go down uh, f through a few of the things. Okay, so this one was built from a donor car and it's got a new old stock chassis. And uh, we'll have a look at it when I take uh, the body shell off. But when we do, you'll notice on the chassis, it's still got its brace attached um, that's left on from the chassis from the sprue. So originally, when you were doing it, when you were building these up, you'd take that off. But uh, Mark from Swift RC has left this on um, to show it's a, a genuine um, 1984 Hornet chassis. So the, as I said, the project was based on a original 84 donor car. But it had a damaged chassis, hence the replacement, and a cracked gearbox. Okay, so um, it's had a, gear, a new gearbox, bumper, wheels and tyres. They're all from a, a Hornet re-release kit. Uh, but the body is uh, a new old stock. With new old stock decals. But it did need a wing and uh, the Anytime Baby rear decal was uh, is by MCI decals also it's all done totally to box art so the body shell and the driver are all painted up as the uh, box shows it's also got all original electrics from the donor car as well so they've been restored cleaned and refitted and I say it all works because it's got its uh, transmitter as well and as usual with all the Swift RC builds, all the screws and the metal fixings and hardware have all been replated before uh, refitting to it. I think the only thing that was new was the brass wheel nuts. Um, they were new ones because the others were too far past, um, too gone. And they needed replacing because they were a bit all grubby and horrible and they wouldn't uh, clean up. So, anyway, what we'll do is... We'll uh, take the camera off the tripod and we'll go and have a closer look at this 1984 Hornet. Sorry about the fingers there. Then there it is. How cool is that? 1984 Tammy Hornet. So, a closer look. And that's... Uh, you can see there the restored body shell. And you get up closer, you can see the driver figure in there as well. All done to box art, like I said. There's the uh, transmitter. Right, and uh, Evelyn, can you uh, take the body off for me, please? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, so as you can see here, bring this a little bit forward. There we go. Total, uh, totally original as it would have come um, after being built in 1984. This is what you would have ended up with. So if you look there in the chassis tub, you can just see, I'm going to try and point to it as well. You can just see there where my finger is, the brace on the chassis that usually you'd remove. But we've left that on. Or oh, I say we, Mark's left that on. Okay, so there's the original uh, uh, radio gear which... I don't know how you ever got these into the chassis. They're that tightly packed with all the electrics, considering how um, big the electrics were back in the 80s. But it looks great. Also, as well, you've got the glass. There's a glass fuse there as well. You don't see many of these on mechanical speed controls uh, these days. So that's got the glass fuse on. You've got the drawer cell. Well, you've got the battery, the four cell battery. Uh, Double A holder there to help power the uh, the steering and the uh, the electrics. And we've got the uh, original resistor type there. The very early ones didn't have the metal cage on that you see on the later ones. And it's got the black ML540 on this one. So I mean, the, again, attention to details, fantastic. Let's have a look at the body again. You can see. There, nicely. Uh, get a bit of a close up on the driver. 
that's it. Nicely painted driver figure. I say it's got a, an MCI decal on the wing that you can't tell at all really, just looks like the original. Very nicely done, you've got the uh, vents cut out, front window cut out as well. So yeah, and then do a nice job of the body there, looks good. And I say, and I say it all works as it should, should. and it's what, uh, I say a Hornet would have been uh, a lot of people's very first RC kit car back in the 80s, so a lot of you, this is what they started out with. Basic, but uh, really good fun. Okay, so yeah, fantastic stuff. Okay, so um, before we finish this video off, we've got, ah, the finger's in the way again. We've got another Hornet here. Now this is also built by uh, Marcus Swift RC, and this one has been modified. But we'll be looking at that uh, in the next video and I'll be taking you through what's been done to this. I do love the wheels though, those red wheels, fantastic. Okay, and in the background as well, you've got my uh, candy green grasshopper. And uh, coming up in a video as well soon, I am waiting for the paint to finish this off completely. But we've got the DT03 black edition there. So it's all built, all runs. It just needs that body shell spraying and then we'll get a video on that and we'll do a running video as well. Right, okay guys, uh, thanks for stopping by as well. Uh, give us a uh, like if you like the videos on the channel. Do subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. And I'll uh, see you on the next video. Take care, thank you very much.